good day to all my um, uh, YouTube uh, subscribers. Okay. Um, today I am going to to share you again um, another programming video, and uh, it is actually a, a programming problem, which um, I'm going to we try to we'll try to um, create program out from this particular problem. And then um, along the way, we'll be we'll be simulating it manually for for me to share my my expertise in C programming, and I'll be discussing the program line by line by line, right? So that uh, to the subscribers of this uh, channel who are you know so interested in learning C programming language, uh, you might as well uh, use. The, the techniques in this uh, particular uh, video all right so um, I am going to share to you guys my um, my um, online notepad okay this is now the problem okay we have to create a C program that will count numbers of digits in an integer all right so meaning if, for example, um, the user um, inputted uh, 897, for example, the program will try to count how many digits. And then eventually, our program will display 3. Okay, why? Because on the given value, it has 3 digits. 1, 2, and so if, for example, um, the user input 4,539, then our program will will display four digits. All right. So um, how to create a program out from that? Right. So that's that's the problem. So on my on my previous. Uh, videos um i did discuss that um by by using an integer variable and by making use of division if for example 897 divided by 10 uh the result of that will eventually eliminate one digit the last digit all right for example um that 897 okay if this is our num i'm sorry 897 if that is our num right if for example the user inputted um 897 all right i'm sorry 897 by dividing it by 10 uh, that gives the result of how much? I'm going to use my calculator. 897 divided by 10. Okay. Um, divided by 10. That's that's 89.7. Okay. We're trying to eliminate the last digit, which is 7. Alright. So since num is being declared as an integer variable, the next time num is not 89.7 but 89 because it's an integer variable and it can only handle integral value right so if we are going to divide it by 10 again the result of this is 8.9 and since it is an integer variable that means the value of num is 8 eliminating another digit all right so knowing that dividing by 10 eliminates one digit at a time then we can use that logic to count the number of digits All right simple okay so if that is the case then we can create program out from that at any time of the moment if the user inputted a particular a particular value then by just dividing dividing it by 10 and by way of using loop statement right 
then uh, eventually it, when our loop exits we are able to count the total number of digits okay so here look at this <clears throat> I declared num as an integer variable and I did have here count as also an integer value and you can either initialize count by zero or not and that's no big deal okay and then followed by the output and input statement I am trying here to ask for a value right an integer value so for example uh, the user uh, typed in 452 right then it will goes down to what do loop right so the loop body contains two lines the first line is what it increases the value of count by one so initially we we give it zero we give zero and then when you say count plus plus that's it becomes one and then we we tend to divide any number by 10 just to eliminate the last digit of a particular value right so here um knowing that the user inputted the uh, 452 and that 452 will be stored automat automatically to, to num and then here comes the count count plus plus means count is equal to one because previously count was being initialized by zero right and then um, followed by another formula num is equal to num divided by 10 our num is 5 452 divided by 10 that's how much that's 45.2 okay and since uh, num is an integer variable instead of 4.45.2 that becomes 45 okay so num becomes 45 and then condition meaning if this condition is true go back to the loop right so the condition says uh, is your num not equal to zero good as saying is your num which is 45 not equal to zero meaning the condition is true because 45 is of course not equal to, to zero are you following okay now next since the condition is true okay since this condition is true our c compiler will will, will get inside again the loop body and the loop body says increase the value of count uh, so count now it becomes two because uh previously count value is one okay so count value count now is two and then followed by another formula right num is equal to your num which is how much 45 divided by 10 and that's how much 4.5 and since num is declared as an integer variable so good as we are storing 4 to num instead of 4.5 so again we are trying to eliminate another digit okay so it goes back to the condition again all right is your num which is 4 not equal to 0 the condition is still true again because 4 is not equal to 0 and it goes inside again all right so the loop body says increase the value of count by one and that's three right that's three and next uh formula divided num divided by 10 so our num was four is four divided by 10 that becomes how much 0 0.4 right or good as saying our num is zero right because num is an integer variable and it can only hold integral or integer value now, here comes the condition is num not equal to zero our num is zero is that zero not equal to zero the condition is false now since the condition is false what's next it will exit from the loop meaning this loop body will not be performed and it goes down 
and display this one. So it displays what? It will display uh, total digits. Okay? Is whatever is the value of count. Our count is how much? Three. So it will display. Three. Now the question is, how much is the value of num at first? Our num is 452. And there are how many digits on it? There are three digits. So this program is correct. In as much as this problem is concerned. Okay? Are you following? Now, um, if for example, okay, if for example, instead of, um, let's have another example, okay? For us to, you know, to elaborate the logic of the program. Now, if, for example, the user entered 12, so num is equal to 12, and then it goes down in here and perform. So count becomes 1 because the count variable contains 0 plus 1, that's 1. And here comes num is equal to Whatever is your num divided by 12. Our num is uh, 12 uh, divided by 10. So our num is 12 divided by 10. That's how much? 1.2. And since num is what? It's an integer variable. So it will be storing what? Um, integer value. So the integer value of 1.2 is 1. Okay? And then followed by a condition here. Continue performing the loop body while this condition is true. The condition says, is your num, alright, is your num which is 1, not equal to 0. The condition is true. Because of course, 1 is not equal to 0. And it goes back again to the loop body. The loop body says, increase the value of count. So count now becomes how much? 2 right and then perform this num so num is equal to num divided by 10 our num is how much 1 right divided by 10 it's right 1 divided by 10 that's how much that is 0 0.1 and uh, by way of I'm sorry and since num is an integer variable, so it will be storing integer value only. So the result is 0 0.1, by the way. So since it is an integer variable, so it will be storing integer value. The integer value of 0 0.1 is 0. Right? And then followed by this condition. Is your num, right? Is our num, which is 0, not equal to Z. The condition is false. Now since the condition is false, do not perform the loop body, do not get back, get inside back again, and exit, perform this one. So what is the screen output? The screen output is what? Total digits, then followed by whatever is the value of count. Value of count is 2. So it displays 2. Question. How much is our num? Our num is 12. How many digits? 2. 1 and 2. So this is correct. Okay. So now, um, we'll try to uh, execute this uh, program to our uh, online compiler. Okay. Let's see. If, actually, this is the same program that I did, uh, that I discussed um, a while ago. So, let's do it. Now, let's try clicking run button okay so run button and here our program is now asking for what a value so how much was that for 5 to our example and when we press enter k it displays total digit is 3 which is actually correct 
we'll try putting backslash in it. Okay? So, 3. Now, another example. How much is that? 12. When you press enter K, uh, what is this? Okay. When you press enter K, the result is total digit is 2, which is actually which is actually correct. <laughs> okay. So, let's have another example. Uh, last example. Uh, let us say um, 7,213. Okay. How many digits on it? Four. Okay. Let's try. Total digit value is four. Okay. So, um, that's it. I, 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 hope, I hope I was able to explain the logic of our solutions, right? And I hope I was able to share my, my know-how in, in analyzing the problem, okay? When you are to, to count digit in a particular integer value, the best way to, to use is division. Because when you are to divide anything by 10, you're good as eliminating one digit at a time, the last part. And uh, make it sure that num is being declared as an integer uh, variable. Because when you are declaring a particular variable as an integer, then it will only cater what? Integer value. And at any time of the moment, if that value, the result of divided by 10 has a decimal place, it will be eliminated. And while, while you are trying to eliminate digit, increase the value of count by one and then you're good as you're counting the total digits in a particular numeric value okay so uh that's it um thank you so much for uh watching this uh video and uh please do share this uh youtube channel to your class classmates to your friends to your uh, relatives who are you know wanting to learn it's programming you know you know this is my, my, my advocacy. If you want to learn programming language, if you want to be good in programming, start learning program, uh, C programming uh, language. You know, uh, the, the good thing with programming is this. It is a science and it is an art. So the challenge lies on the art portion because uh, in programming you'll be creating a lot of maneuvers you'll be applying a lot of techniques you'll be creating a lot of formulas out from the scratch okay so thank you so much uh, god bless you god bless us goodbye for now